Inkedink, 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 inkedink. Wow! Basil, where are you? Basil, where are you? I don't see you. And you can hide in a pretty slender spot, obviously, but I, you know, what the heck? Basil said, uh, I heard the voice. Basil said, no, you're supposed to say, what the fork? Okay, okay, Basil. WTF, what the fork? How about that? You can see that on television. I, I hear you. You're out there somewhere. Where are you? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to come look in the studio. Okay. Okay. I know you can see me. My, I got my tie on, so I know you can see me. Wherever you are, you're there somewhere. Okay. Well. Well. Hey. Hey. Okay, um, yeah, look, well, where are you, Will? I know the Calico Cat turned into the Calico Stone a year ago, August. Where's Lil? Where the heck is Lil? Okay, okay, um... Another thing, when did Basil become a rapping cat? I, he's, I'm here in the... Here and as we as we converse, I'm here and doing a rap. But you hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Um. Hold on. Um. Oh, it's Rick Santorum. Um. No. Wait a second. Yeah, it's Rick Santorum. Yeah, whatever. Um. Right, yeah. Okay, now I, I'm not hearing you on this phone, so you must be calling on the, um, on the, uh, mic. we usually call it, it's, uh, Donald, Donald Drunk. Um, hold on. You've got to be on the micro inky dinky phone somewhere. Okay. Hold on. I think it's a speck of dust phone. Okay. I haven't been elevated since you were, uh, the presumable elected president. Okay. Um, oh, it's not Trump. It's um, Rudy Giuliani. Um, the uh, the elegant uh, fascist mayor. Elegant. Second. What did you go by when you were uh, when you were mayor of New York City and were banging some heads, or having your police officers? Um, Cocks and heads. Oh, gentleman fascist. Okay, pardon me for getting that wrong, but okay. Uh, uh, former mayor, forever gentleman fascist, Rudy, Gi Rudy Giuliani. Oh, what? Do you, you have a question? You have a Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, welcome to Basil Wood Cat Presents. I'm David Stevenson, Basil's co-host, interpreter, chief gopher, and uh, multiple phone engager right now, apparently. So, what's um, what's going on? It says he's um, he's being paraded in front of um, in front of His Excellency, the incoming uh, president, uh, 
Donald Trump. Why is that? Oh, hold on for a second. It's got another call. Hold on. Okay, um, but not on the phone, so we got to find another, I guess, speck of dust phone or micro winky dinky phone, one or the other. Hello? Basil Buddha Cat presents. Oh, Basil, it's our old, Basil, wherever you are, it's our old friend Mitt Romney, who's been on our show, uh, well, he was on our show a couple times back in 2012, um, gaining a little momentum in his uh, quest for the, uh, nomination as Republican uh, presidential candidate in 2012. Um, says he's um, says he's trying to, to build a comeback now because he um, was pretty rough on, uh, on uh, Trump during the um, during the primaries and the nominating process. Uh, a couple little tweaks like um, Trump sucks. I won't vote for him. He's the worst candidate the Republicans going to come up with, and probably, probably the only one that was the only one that could have lost to Clinton. And yet, somehow or other, I guess Clinton was the only one that, that could lose to anybody in a presidential election. And certainly, the only one that could get two and a half million more votes than than anybody and still lose because she's despised in. Um, despised in so many states with so many electoral votes. Um, okay, um, so, um, who are you again? Oh, it's Mitt Romney. Um, he says he's actually, um, doing some parading in front of, um, in front of, uh, President-elect Donald Trump. He's looking, <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, we'll get back with you in a moment. Hold on, we're going to keep you on hold, so don't go away. I'm hearing another phone ring somewhere. We got we got three Basil, where are you? We've got three of the phones. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's Trump. Okay. It's uh, Donald Trump Trump. Who says he's okay. He's um he's got scheduled uh, scheduled visits from um Mitt Romney and uh, Rudy Giuliani today and he's gonna Parade him around and and see if um, they can walk in front of him and take a look at him and, and and the one that best is able to ignore the fact that Trump has no clothes on and doesn't mention it. That's the one that he's gonna. That's the one he's gonna name as um, Secretary of State. Uh, the one that best has the ability, as all Secretaries of State should have, the ability to. Um, to look at their commander in chief and um, ignore the fact that, that they're naked. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, he says, um, okay, hold on. Now we got three of them on hold. Go to the source. Lil, 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 where? I know you're not here either. Where's your calico stone avatar is not here? And Basil's two-dimensional cat of all cats. She said, "She said, look around, look real carefully, and don't forget to look behind the painting of Trump." Hold on. Okay. Okay, well there you go. Now, should I put you, I'm going to put you in the audience, but should I put you in the audience facing in or should I put you on the stage facing out? It says, don't worry about it, he's um, worth at least $20,000. His picture's worth at least $20,000 either way. I mean, it had to be worth over $20,000 because his charitable foundation paid $20,000 to, um, to somebody that spent at least eight or ten seconds drawing that creating that, that lovely piece of art that uh, that hangs, well, I guess they hang, how are they hanging? He said, never you mind. Hold on. 
said, never you mind how they're hanging. They're hanging real good. They're hanging, they're hanging huge. Okay, okay. Put your phone in a bit of wax there and uh, maybe that'll dampen you a little bit. So, um, to Basil, I think you're, you're here now, so you're, yeah, you're here, you're, a little roughed up a little bit from being high, from hiding behind the picture of drunk. Ty looks okay, looks fairly straight. Are we gonna, um, are we gonna be doing uh, Cinco de Diciembre? I mean, we've, we've been doing it every month, we've been doing the Cinco's every month. We had uh, Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Julio, Cinco de Julio, Cinco de Augusto. Cinco de septiembre, cinco de octubre, cinco de noviembre. How about cinco de diciembre? Okay. Basil said. Said, um, don't let Trump fool you. He's still doing that TV show. The one we did on the hour special, the one we um, outlined the first. Uh, 25 episodes? Okay. Basil said, <laughs> He said, uh, fork yes. Um, so, he's doing the shows. Has he got a spot on him for, um, if he gets beyond 25 weeks while he's in the White House, um, will he have um, Mitt Romney or uh, Rudy Giuliani, uh, who um, refers to himself as gentleman fascist, and Romney, Romney calls himself class clown, um, are they going to be on the show? Okay, uh, Basil is... Uh, Okay, there we go. Okay. He, uh, he winked at me. Now he's going to say something. Said, um... <laughs> said, nah, don't worry about it. It's, they're on the, um... They're on stage right now trying to pretend that they can stand right in front of Trump and look straight at him and not notice the fact that he has no clothes on. That's how Trump... That's how Trump chooses people. Says that they, um... If, uh, Trump has people stand in front of him and uh, pretend they don't see the fact that he's naked and don't laugh, then um, that moves him up the totem pole. So uh, how, are, how are Giuliani and, uh, and Romney doing so far? Okay, Basil said, <laughs> said, uh, gentleman fascist is slightly ahead. And that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean he won't possibly choose class clown Mitt Romney, who um, spent the entire primary, the entire primary talking about how uh, Trump was the stupidest guy that ever walked the face of the earth, a lousy candidate, um, embarrassment to the Republican Party, and uh, somehow, somehow managed to be Hillary Clinton. And we ascribe that, you know, Basil and I, we ascribe that to, um, we ascribe that to, to the fact that, that Clinton was probably the only candidate that, that could lose to any Republican candidate. Probably would have gotten moshed by um, the guy from Ohio, um, who was probably the best candidate the Republicans had, but it's, you know, that's so long ago that, um, oh, John Kasich, okay. So, the Republicans put up uh, the, the, the person that was the least liked person ever to run for president, well, he and Clinton were pretty much tied in that category. Both of them were pretty much uh, defined as being the most disgusting candidates ever to, um, ever to run for the office of presidency. And somehow, somehow he managed to beat her. Well, it was a tie. He won the electoral college vote and she won the popular vote. So, um, so Americans in one way said, Trump sucks, and how can we vote for that guy? But on the other hand, America said, Clinton sucks. 
But how could we ever vote for her? So they gave each of them, one of them, flipped a coin in. I guess uh, I guess Trump won the coin flip, or at least he won the uh, the. Uh, that's the way we do things in America. Flip. So um, I don't see the hats, so I know we're not doing uh, Cinco de, de Diciembre. Okay. Well, what are we doing? Basil said. <laughs> said first, listen to my latest. Uh, my latest. Uh, <laughs> I don't listen to your latest. I'll be able to listen to your latest uh, rap. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, we are okay. So first, listen to my latest rap, and then answer the. Um, We'll figure out which phone it is because we've got a, a guest call in. Somebody that visited us last year and uh, stayed for a couple of months. And uh, we had to we had to hide this guest in the back room because because the guest was so mean that he did his best to um okay, now I know what you're talking about. Not uh, not um we had the one guest uh, a couple years ago who we described as being, uh, we na nicknamed Orange Hitler because because he had a little, um, a little Hitler mustache, an orange, an orange and orange and white tiger stripe, and he had the, uh, the little, no, I'm not picking my nose or scratching it. He, um, he had uh, the little orange spot right there and all white around it, and son of a gun, he did look like Hitler with an orange mustache. So we named him Orange Hitler. Okay. Nice cat though. But on the other hand, this cat we're going to have visiting us, we're planning on having him visit us, um, who has a Facebook page, which we mocked up, of course. Um, his name is, uh, well, I'll wait and let him introduce himself. But, um, oh, the rap. Okay. Okay, Basil, I'm going to play it back. Too bad. Okay, well, let me try. Let me try again. Okay. Now, Will's still on that phone. And where is she? I mean, the Calico Cat came back in Calico Stone. Oh. By the way, um, Trump is going to be selling these things next. Autograph. Uh, well, he couldn't get the okay from the Hershey's Kiss. Uh, Candy Company, so he's going to be um, borrowing some of uh, Basil's souvenirs from the uh, the belt in Africa when Basil went on his safari. Um, and we'll do a show about that one day. Um, he borrowed some of these from us, and he's going to autograph them and uh, and uh, send them out. I mean, he's not going to frisbee them like we do. He's going to uh, he's going to actually um, postage postage to be paid by addressee. For each of these, and uh, that's going to help defer the cost of um, the show that um, the show that may or may not last 25 weeks. He'd love to do it. He really would. I mean, he's not going to be busy doing anything else for the next four years. So might as well, might as well continue doing The Apprentice and all the other ones. Okay. Um. So Lil. Oh, it's not Lil. Hold on. Not the Nickelodeon phone. Oh, okay. So your rap is about our guest. And, um... Four. Man, it's going to be hard to tell the players without, a, without, a, without an exploding phone card. Okay, okay. Welcome to Basil Booty Cat Presents. It's... It's Jojo Benedetto. Now, Jojo Benedetto came to visit us about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago now. And uh, 
We have we have claw marks all over ourselves, Kristen and I, and you miss Basil because Basil's skinny. But uh, we have claw marks all over us because we had to hide Jojo away in the back bedroom um, because because he just wasn't a friendly cat. I mean, you know, his his owners or his, his people seem to be nice enough, but um, we took him in because they needed a place to go to a place that accepted cats. Couldn't find one after they sold the condominium to uh, to my real estate client, and uh, so we said, "Yeah, we'll take we'll take Jojo." And sure, seems nice enough. Then they arrived with him in the, in the cat carrier, and we let him out of the cat carrier, and immediately had to confine him in the back bedroom because he was clawing the crap out of us. So three months later, we had to call the people up and say, "Hey, you know." Diane, Diane was her name. Not the Diane that Basil's met, though, that I was married to, but a different Diane. He, um, uh, Diane called up, but we called Diane up and, uh, and said, look, you know, you gotta, you gotta take this cat back. He's, he's, you can't let him out of the back room. He's, every time we go in there, he pretends to like us until we get within three, three feet of us, and then we, then he's, he lets his claws do a, do a number on us. So, come get him. And she and John did, and that's fine. That's a good thing. But in the meanwhile, we had a, a Facebook page set up for him, uh, Jojo Benedetto and uh, Jojo De Benet, Jojo Benedetto, and we um, put a really mean picture of him, as if there were anything else that we could take a picture of with him being anything other than really mean looking. So okay, so um, ow, son of a bitch, ow. Bastard clawed me in the ear right through the phone. Okay, well. Do you have a question for Basil? Okay. Okay, uh, Basil said. We'll be looking down on you in hell, you son of a... Not a massive, you're, you're a devout Christian, religiously and a Buddhist philosophically like I am, and uh, you wouldn't use that kind of a language like that, would you? He said, fork no. He smiled, and he said, fork yes. Okay. Okay, well, well, we'll get back with you. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's um, you can uh, you can uh, address any questions to Jojo Jojo Benedetto by emailing him at Jojo Benedetto at gmail .com or looking at his Facebook page, also Jojo Benedetto, and you've seen that picture of him and uh, understanding what we're talking about. But you know, we're going to try to fit in. Nah, we really can't. We're, we're running short of our time Friday night, but. Sunday, Sunday morning, we're going to come back and uh, we're scheduled to talk about churches that have become safe places for the immigrants that, that Trump claims is going to try to deport. And in fact, not only churches, but um, some American cities have also identified, and, and we've got two of them here in Connecticut, we'll get to that on, uh, on Sunday morning, that, are, that have designated themselves as uh, safe havens. For, uh, for undocumented workers um, that Trump has plans for. So it's been Basil Wodekat Presents. Uh, it's Friday night. Thanks for watching, and we will see you Sunday morning. God willing. They say they'd rob your grandma blind on Wall Street, on Wall Street. Fritter her, her away her Medicare on Wall Street. And pharma oil and their pet fox don't care if she lives in a box. So long as they wear platinum jocks on Wall Street, on Wall Street. Meow.